There are many debates we have to navigate in 2020. Lots of lots of arguing, lots of anxiety. Um, whether or not to open schools in the fall is going to be a hugely, hugely contentious issue. I watched uh, Tucker Carlson last night on Fox News, and Tucker is of the mindset that anything short of reopening all of our schools is an abject failure in America. Um, and, and listen, I, I watch him and Sean and Laura and everybody all the time. Um, I don't know that I would even say I disagree, but what I, I do believe is that a lot of the issues we're struggling with are a lot more complicated than they're presented, that are being presented. The mayor of New York, de Blasio, has announced today that public schools will not fully open in the fall. They will have a blended schedule. Students in New York City, there are over a million kids in New York City public schools, incidentally. They're going to have a maximum of three days in the classroom and then engage in remote learning for the remainder of the week. Tucker's argument and many people's argument is that remote learning isn't learning. Plopping a kid in front of a computer screen is not the same as learning in the classroom. And of course, I agree with that. But it seems to me that reasonable people will agree that opening schools is difficult. And it is complicated. The education commissioner in the state of Florida said all public schools must reopen to students in person. It's an emergency order. Commissioner Richard Corcoran called schools not just the site of academic learning, but also crucial places in students' lives that provide nutrition, socialization, counseling, extracurricular activities. And the president himself has said, we, we want schools to open. We want to pressure schools to open. Here's what the president said yesterday in Washington, D.C., as the president and the first lady were, to, were participating in a national dialogue on safely reopening America's schools. Here's the president. We hope that most schools are going to be open. Uh, we don't want people to make political statements or do it for political reasons. They think it's going to be good for them politically, so they keep the schools closed. No way. So we're very much going to put pressure on uh, governors and everybody else to open the schools, to get them open. And uh, it's very important. It's very important for our country. It's very important for the well-being of the student and the parents. So we're going to be putting a lot of pressure on open your schools in the fall. So much seems to depend on the way things are worded. So the headline out of New York is that schools, I mean, is the takeaway, um, well, from Fox News, that says de Blasio said public schools will not fully reopen. And yet the plan in New York does include students in the classroom three days a week. You know, I, <laughs> I'm not trying to be a jerk here or obstinate. Do you not have a chance of, of getting a virus and bringing it home to mom and dad or, or the grandparents if you're only there Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays? You know what I mean? I, and, and listen, I, I know it's not an all-or-nothing proposition. The, even the president says, safely reopen. What does safely reopen look like? Let's look at the state of politics. They're literally trying to float an idea that every single person who goes into the convention center in Jacksonville next month for the Republican National Convention has to be tested for COVID. Now, I, I've been tested a few times. One test, it took 13 days to get the result back. The other test was an instant test or a rapid test that I took. It was 20, 25 minutes. How do you test 15,000 people every time they go in or out of a convention center? And this is the Republican convention. They're not even going to have a Democrat convention, I guess. They're going to keep Biden in the basement. And they're going to do everything on Zoom calls. Have a few delegates, I guess, spaced out, you know, 100 feet apart in some empty room somewhere. This is a mess. And I don't believe there are any easy answers. And I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I got this all figured out. I don't. They don't. Nobody does. 
Betsy DeVos was on Tucker Carlson's show last night, and she admitted to Tucker that withholding federal funding from schools that don't want to reopen is something that the Trump administration is looking very seriously at doing. We are looking at this very seriously. This is a very serious Betsy issue DeVos, across cut the number country. Eight. Kids have got to continue learning. Schools have got to open up. There has got to be concerted effort to address the needs of all kids. And adults who are fear-mongering and making excuses simply have got to stop doing it and turn their attention on what is right for students and for their families. Now, I'm going to say something that might get me in hot water. It's okay. I don't mind. We've been told the whole year that kids can contract the coronavirus, and even though they may not get sick, they could bring it home to their mom or their dad or their grandma or their grandpa or other vulnerable adults. I don't know how to turn this battleship around on a dime. Do you? Now do we go from that concern to kids are fine, they need to go to school. If they don't go to school, society collapses. And I am not trying to minimize the misery index of kids being cooped up at home. We should not ignore suicide rates. I, I, I don't even want to think about what people with mental illness are going through right now as they are afraid to go and venture out. I, 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 I've, got, I've got no easy answers. All I do is present it, and this has been a difficult year. I have done everything I can do not to politicize things that I truly understand are being politicized by many others. 13 past the hour, welcome to a Wednesday edition of the Mike Gallagher Show in the relieffactor.com studios. I hope you join us. 800-655-MIKE. Let's get your take on the thorny issue, the complicated issue, the difficult issue of opening schools in a, well, I don't know, what is that, a month or two away? August, September, almost here. 800-655-6453. I hope you join us.